Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to use an add-on domain and a subdomain in our control panel or cPanel. We're using HostGator for this tutorial, so what we're going to do is scroll down until we come to our domain section. And here you can see we have subdomains, add-on domains, park domains, redirects, and then advanced DNS zone editors. I'm going to go ahead and click on subdomains first. And a subdomain is a domain that has a URL for a different section of your website. Now according to this, it can use your main domain name and a prefix. So in the subdomain box, I'm going to go ahead and put in my subdomain name. And it's going to be WordPress Tutorial Hub 2. And here you'll see it says mlab.net. But I can also make it any of these in the drop-down. But I'm going to leave it as mlab.net. And then down here, it shows us what our document root is. So if you were to go into your files, you would see it would be public HTML backslash WordPress tutorial hub. And I'm going to click on create. And it shows me that this has now been created. So it's at WordPress tutorial hub 2.inlab.net. And that is our subdomain. So let's go ahead and go back. And if we scroll down, you can see that we've got our subdomains, dot root domains, document roots, redirections, and the actions. So this shows us what our subdomains are, and you see we've got a few of them in here. And it shows us what their addresses are. If they are redirected, meaning if somebody types this name in, will it redirect them to another website, say it could even be your main website, if you want to manage the redirection, or if you want to remove the file. So that just means basically that if anyone types in WordPress Tutorial Hub 2.mlab.net, it's going to go ahead and take them to this subdomain of your website. And you can link this back to your main domain if you want or any other domains. So it's really simple. There's not much more to say about it than that. So now I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to go back into my cPanel again. And this time we're going to take a look at add on domains. Scrolling down, I'm going to click add ons. And this will allow visitors to reach one of your subdomains by typing in the add-on domains URL. This means that you can put additional domains on your account if your hosting provider allows it. These add-on domains are relative to your account's home directory. And you know that the little house right here means that it's your home directory backslash and then the document root. So let's go ahead and put in our new domain name. And I'm going to put in WordPress tutorialhub3.com and you must put the .com and you'll notice this won't turn to a green arrow until you do. Underneath we've got our subdomain and FTP username and it comes up automatically as WordPress Tutorial Hub 3. You can change that if you want to but I'm just going to leave it the same. And then here our document root is home public HTML WordPress Tutorial Hub.com Underneath, we can put in our password, or you can use the password generator and click on Add Domain. And it shows us that this new add-on domain has been created. So let's go back and scroll down, and this shows us our add-on domains. Again, this is the domain name, the domain name with the document root, the username that was chosen, whether it's redirected, and if you want to remove it or manage the redirection, meaning that if somebody comes and types in this add-on domain name, is it going to be redirected to another site or to your main page? So that's how we add a subdomain and an add-on domain. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.